so welcome back everyone in this video i will be sharing 12 computer tips you wish you knew before because this will be helping you to explore many hidden options and features so without any delay let's quickly get it started okay so the very first tip is related to the context menu of the application now generally what happen when you right click on any of the desktop application and click show more options now it only give you some limited options that is available for all the user now if you want to explore some hidden options then instead of just making a right click press and hold the shift key from your keyboard and then if you make a right click on this application so you will find there are few more options that are being highlighted like run as different user so many times while troubleshooting or doing some kind of task in the future you will need these kind of hidden features and this tip will surely help you to get these kind of options okay now the next tip is related to the browser and many time it happened like while working on multiple tab you accidentally just close an important tab and you're not sure how exactly to bring it back so there is a very simple shortcut key that you can use to bring that last close tab so from your keyboard you will have to press Control shift and the t key and this will bring up the last close tab and you can quickly access it okay so now let's move with the next tip that is related to the snipping tool and i'm very sure that majority of the people don't know about this so there comes a time when you want to extract the text from any kind of image or from any kind of page and most of the people use any kind of third party website or any kind of tool now you don't have to do that if you are on the updated version of windows 11 and for example if you are on the system information page and you want to extract all this text to any kind of word document or any, any kind of notepad then you have to click on your windows search type is snipping from the suggestion you have to click on the snipping tool now click on new crop the portion of the text or the page from where you want to extract the text once selected it will be automatically displayed in the snipping tool now here on the top you will find a new option that says text action just click on it now all the text will be extracted and here you get an option copy all text so you can click on it now once you have copied now you can paste anywhere like on any kind of word document or on any kind of notepad so if i bring up the notepad i can simply paste the text and you can see that all this information of the system information have been pasted over here where i can edit them or make any kind of changes so similarly you can do this for any kind of image or anything that you want to all right so now the next tip will be very important for the people who want to access the bios each and every time and they have a hard time accessing the bios now there is a small trick through which you can create a bio shortcut on your desktop and just making one click you can access your bios so what you have to do right click on your desktop or up to new choose shortcut and in the location you have to type shut down space r space fw space t give a space number one click on next now it says type a name for this shortcut so you can type bios shortcut or just bios then you will have to click on finish once created right click on it click on properties click on advanced check this box that says run as admin then you will have to click on ok click apply click ok and now you're all done so the next time whenever you want to access the bio simply just double click on this click on yes and it will be automatically restarting and bring the computer in the bios mode okay so hopefully you will enjoy this trick guys now let's move with the next tip and that is the quick assist so on windows 11 when you click on your windows search and search for quick assist and you click on it now it will give you this kind of box so using the quick assist you can view someone computer screen or you can remotely control it or even you can share your own screen to fix many kind of problem now if you remember that many people use many kind of third party application like team weaver to share their screen but now using the quick assist you can safely do that without any kind of problem so enjoy the quick assist and whenever you have any kind of problem just share your screen with your friend relative or anyone who can help you out whom you trust all right so now let's move with the next tip and that can be really useful for the laptop user and do you know that a laptop battery charges 
faster when it's in the airplane mode. Yes, when your laptop is in on airplane mode, it means that many features like your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth are being disabled. This takes some pressure off your battery and allow it to charge faster than if you were operating it normally. So the next time when you are not doing anything and you want to charge your laptop, then just turn on the airplane mode and then start the charging. Okay, now the next tip is important for each and every Windows user. And there comes a time when you lose many kind of your data accidentally. You delete from even from the recycle bin. And in such scenario, there is a free tool by the name Recova that you can use to recover your data back. Now, as far as I remember, in the last one year, I lost my data like three or four times and I used the Recova software and I got my deleted data back. And that was absolutely free. So again, it's recommended that you should install the Recova application on your computer. This will be helping you to recover the deleted data, even deleted from the recycle bin. Okay, now the next step is shake to minimize. And let's say that you're working on multiple application or program. So what you can do, you can click on any of the application that you don't want to minimize. Left click on it, hold it, then shake tightly left and right. And you will find that all the other application will be quickly minimized. Now, if you want to bring it back again, you have to left click on it and just shake left and right again. And those applications will be coming back. Now, this can be really useful for you if you are working on a school or your office and you don't want that other people can view that what exactly you're doing. Now, on Windows 11, after the new update, there is an amazing feature that came in the paint section. So this time after updating Windows, if you bring up the paint application, now here you will be getting a new option of co-creator. So if you click on it and it says describe what you would like to create. So basically you can create any kind of art, any kind of picture using the AI feature that is in built now in the paint section. So for example, I will type here man crying in the sunset. Below you will find a style section if you click on it. It gives you different kind of style like you can go with the watercolor, oil painting, digital art, anime. So whichever you want to go, you can select it. Then you will have to click on create. And it will take some time to generate the image now. And you can see that the image has been generated. And if I click on it, so you can see the beautiful anime has been generated according to my instruction that I given in the description box. So there are three images being generated. You can choose any one of them. All right, so now the next tip is related to the Windows search setting. And if your Windows search takes a long time, then there are some advanced settings that you can apply. So right click on Windows icon, then you will have to click on settings. And then here in the setting box, you have to type search. Then from the suggestion, click on change search history settings. Then click on searching Windows. And here you will be getting two different options of classic and enhanced. And you can read here, it says in the classic section that search only for your document, pictures and music folder plus the desktop. And in the enhanced section, it search your entire PC. And this may affect your battery life and the CPU consumption. PC must be plugged in for the initial indexing. Now, depending on your problem, if your Windows search is not searching all kind of items, all kind of folders that you are trying to search, then you can go with the enhanced option. But if your problem is more battery consumption and the CPU consumption, then instead of the enhanced, you can go with the classic search. All right. So this is a very important change that you have to make in order to improve the performance or the searching. OK, now let's move with the last step. That is the Windows sandbox. And I'm very sure that many people don't know about this. Now, Microsoft has created a new feature, a new option by the name Windows sandbox, where you can install and run many kind of operating system virtually. Now, in order to enable it, you will have to click on your Windows search, type turn Windows, click on turn Windows feature on or off. And here you have to scroll down to the bottom and you will find Windows Sandbox. You need to check this option. You will have to click on OK and then it will be applying the changes and then probably you will have to restart the computer. So once the computer gets restarted, now if you click on your Windows search and search for Sandbox, you will be getting Windows Sandbox application. You will have to click on it. And you can see that I'm already using the Windows 11 on my Windows Sandbox virtually. Okay, so this is not my real computer. You can see that this is my real one. And this is the virtual machine that I'm using. All right, so if you need a detailed video on the Sandbox, you can let me know. I will be surely creating a video on this. Okay, so that's all guys for today. Hopefully you enjoyed all these tips and tricks. And let me know in the comment section that which tip you like the most. 
and do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video bye bye